Hello, I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to add a shiny reflection to your text in Cinema 4D. So first you click MoGraph, then MoText, then type what you want it to say. I'm going to put LOL. Then you can change your font if you don't want the original. And I'm going to be using the font Velocity. I think it looks really cool. I use it a lot. After that, I'm going to just drag it to the middle. Okay, now you're going to duplicate the text. You're going to press it and then control drag. After that, you're going to go to MoText, change the depth to about 120. Then MoText 1, change the depth to about 70. Then go to the, to the cap section on MoText 1 and then the start cap to fill it and the end to fill it cap fill it cap on start to okay radius should be 8 on each one or whatever looks best to you I like using 8 okay after that you're gonna drag the motex 1 to the middle so the text pops out and you have an edge on it okay then you're going to make a new material, you just double click on the material section or you press file, new material, or control M. After that, double click the material and then go to reflection, check that, and then make the texture Fresnel. Then turn the brightness to about 50 and the mix strength to about 50. That's just my settings. After that, you click color and you can change your color. I'm using cyan type color. So then after that you drag your material on Motex 1 so it just colors the edge. You can do the whole text but I like the way this looks too. So after that you're going to add a softbox which is in Grayscale Gorilla Light Kit. Um, you can find it on the internet, YouTube, or Google. Um, or I'm pretty sure just a regular light could work but this is already pre-made and with settings and stuff so it looks really nice so it, it uh, comes up here I'm gonna drag it down a little bit yeah, that's good. okay and then after that you're gonna click render render settings effect then global illumination. It adds a really nice effect to it. It takes a little bit longer to render, but not too long. So then after that, you just click render to see how it looks. Um, this also works on spheres. It has a really nice effect on spheres. And you can use it on floors to make the text reflect on floors. So, as you can see, it has a reflection and shine to it. I hope this helped. If this does help, click uh, subscribe to me and comment. If, there, if you want another tutorial, you can comment or send me a message on what you need a tutorial on and I'll try and do it. Um, thanks for watching.